स्टूडेंट्स आवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी फॉर अ गिवेन एक्सोथर्मिक रिएक्शन के पी एंड के पी डैश आर द इक्विलिब्रियम कॉन्स्टेंट्स एट टेम्परेचर टी वन एंड टी टू रिस्पेक्टिवली assuming that heat of reaction is constant in temperature range between t1 and t2 it is readily observed that first option kp is greater than kp dash second option kp is less than kp dash third option is kp is equal to kp dash and fourth option is given kp is 1 by kp dash now see two equilibrium constants are related to each other by the expression log k2 upon k1 is equal to delta h by 2.303 r 1 by t1 minus 1 by t2 in this way if temperature we assume that t1 is lower temperature and t2 is higher temperature then equilibrium constant must be affected by a temperature now in this question it is mentioned that given reaction is exothermic reaction so sign of delta h is negative and for any of the exothermic reaction if temperature is increased so we can say that kp dash will be less than kp and if we see the option the first option is kp is greater than kp dash and correct answer will be the one option so students our next question is question number 61 which of the following orders of ionic radii is correctly represented the first option is h negative h positive h second option is sodium ion fluoride ion oxide ion third option fluoride ion oxide ion sodium ion and fourth option is aluminium ion magnesium ion and nitride ion so let us try to solve this question the first option is given hydride ion as we know anion is always larger than neutral atom so anion should be larger than neutral atom a neutral atom is larger than cation but the given value is h negative h positive h so first option is incorrect option now in second option the ions given are sodium ion fluoride ion and oxide ion sodium ion cation is is smaller than neutral atom it is smaller than anion if they are isoelectronic species so the correct order should be sodium ion a smallest size fluoride ion larger than it oxide ion largest but the given order is sodium ion largest ion so this option is also incorrect option in third option it is given for fluoride ion oxide ion and sodium ion the same options are given same isoelectronic species are taken so in this case also the actual order should be oxide ion largest ion then fluoride and then sodium ion but in this option it is mentioned that fluoride ion is larger than oxide ion so which is also incorrect option fourth option is given aluminium ion magnesium ion and nitride ion they are also isoelectronic species higher the charge is smaller will be the radii so a smallest one is aluminium ion second one is magnesium ion while largest one is the nitride ion but the given order is largest one is given for aluminium ion so this option is also incorrect option it means the given question is incorrect question none of the option is correctly matched our next question is question number 62 One gram magnesium is burnt with 0.56 gram oxygen in a closed vessel. Which reactant is left in excess and how much? Options are given: 
फर्स्ट ऑप्शन मैग्नीशियम वैल्यू इज गिवन 0.16 ग्राम सेकंड ऑप्शन ऑक्सीजन 0.16 ग्राम थर्ड ऑप्शन मैग्नीशियम 0.44 ग्राम एंड फोर्थ ऑप्शन इज गिवन ऑक्सीजन 0.28 ग्राम now in this question a chemical reaction is taking place between magnesium and oxygen which results in the formation of magnesium oxide when mass of both the reactant is given first of all we must decide which one is limiting reagent and which is excess reagent now you can see two mole magnesium it means 2 into 24 gram magnesium for complete reaction requires 32 gram oxygen here the mass of magnesium is given 1 gram so 1 gram magnesium requires 32 by 2 into 24 into 1 gram oxygen we can solve it 8 three is 24, 8 four is 32. This is 4, so 2. It means the value is 2 by 3 gram oxygen. 2 by 3 is equal to 0.66 gram oxygen is required. But the given value of oxygen is only 0.56 gram. and if the quantity of oxygen given is less than required so that substance will be limiting reagent so in this question limiting reagent is oxygen it means excess reagent will be magnesium so magnesium will left after the reaction now we have to find out how much magnesium will left so again we need to apply the stoichiometry 1 mole oxygen it means 32 gram oxygen combines with 2 into 24 gram magnesium here the limiting reagent is oxygen and its mass given is 0.56 gram so 0.56 gram oxygen will combine 2 into 24 by 32 into 0.56 g magnesium this value is coming out 0.84 g so mass of magnesium given is 1 g and mass of magnesium reacting is 0.84 g how much magnesium left magnesium left after the reaction this is mass taken 1 g mass consumed 0.84 g and this is coming out 0.16 g so our option must include the excess reagent is magnesium and quantity left after the reaction should be 0.16 g now you can see in the option number 1 the first option is given excess reagent magnesium and value is also given 0.16 g so correct option is option number 1 our next question is question number 63 the pair of compounds that can exist together is first option is given ferric chloride essential to second option is given hgcl2 essential to third option is given fecl2 essential to and fourth option is given fecl3 and potassium iodide students when we are doing such type of question we must remember one thing we cannot keep an oxidizing agent and reducing agent together if both of them are oxidizing agent they can be kept together if both of them are reducing agent they can be kept together and in this question we have to find out the pair of compound which can exist together now see in the first option it is given fecl3 fecl3 iron is present in plus 3 oxidation state while tin is present in plus 2 state 
as we know tin has the possibility of converted into plus 2 to plus 4 oxidation state so this will lose electron and ferric ion will gain electron converting into ferrous chloride it means these two substances will react with each other in the second option it is given mercuric chloride where mercury is present in the plus 2 state and its stable oxidation state is plus 1 in SnCl2 tin is present in plus 2 state so tin will oxidize from plus 2 to plus 4 state and mercury will reduce from plus 2 to plus 1 state so these two will react with each other it means cannot kept together the third option is given ferrous chloride iron is present in plus 2 oxidation state while tin is also present in plus 2 oxidation state now you can see tin may oxidize from plus 2 to plus 4 then possibility of ferrous ion should be to gain electron but as we know ferrous can oxidize to ferric only ferrous cannot accept electron so these two species are non-reacting species it means they can keep together they can exist together similarly the fourth option is ferric chloride iron is present in plus 3 oxidation state so it is acts as an oxidizing agent while potassium iodide iodine is present in minus 1 oxidation state and it will behave as a reducing agent so again if they will kept together they will react with each other and cannot exist as such as ferric chloride and potassium iodide so according to the question the correct option is third one